Hello everybody, my name is Metallica and welcome back to my Survival Let's Play series. Where we last left things off, we had made this banquet hall down here and we even managed to have a little bit of a Christmas party inside, which was a ton of fun. And I'm pretty happy with how this banquet hall turned out and I hope you guys like it as, just as much as I did. Like I mentioned, it took a lot longer to make than I was expecting, but it was totally, totally worth it. And yeah, now unfortunately, the Christmas season has passed. Christmas is over, unfortunately. So I think it's about time that we change our outfit back to how it was and hang up our Christmas outfit until next year comes around. Now I hope none of you guys are too sad to see this outfit go. It'll, it'll be back next year, I promise. But here it is, our wonderful outfit. You know, let's get this put on and... Ah, it feels so good to be just us again, to be back into our normal outfit, to look like me. Ah, feels so good. Unfortunately, what's not feeling so good is my food supply. I only have 18 steak left to my name, a little bit of pork chop, and some wheat that we can make into bread. So we need to solve this problem, and we need to make ourselves a supply where we can get plenty of food to eat because running out it's it's getting a little bit of a pain you know i'm hungry i'm moving a little bit slower because of it i need to get some food even the bakery has run out of food you know that's a real problem if we head on up here you'll be able to see what i'm talking about you know there's i mean there's a cake but there's no food on the table if we head down into the freezer, all that's down here is this guy. I don't think he can help us. You know, he he's kind of stuck. So this is a problem that we need to take care of. We need to figure out a food situation right away. And we need to find a bed to sleep in. Thank you, buddy, for letting us sleep in that bed. Appreciate it. But yeah, we need to figure out a food situation, and we need to figure out it fast. I've got a couple ideas in mind, so if we head on over to our barn over this hill, I'll tell you guys and show you what I'm talking about. This is where I get all the food that I eat in this place. As you can see, I did a harvest of the wheat recently, and that's where the wheat in the chest came from. I'm hopefully going to be able to use this too make bread, you know, and I've got a couple cows in here that we can use to, um, there's one cow in here, there's, there's another cow up there somewhere behind our house, but we can use these guys to, um, uh, they can eat the wheat, yeah, eat it, no, we're going to turn these guys into steak, but, so those are pretty much our two options, is bread, and steak. There are a couple other options, but those require a little bit more work to do, and I'm not really feeling up to it right now. I think our main option right now is either bread or steak. So to solve this dilemma of which we are going to use, bread or steak, I've got in the strapper two pieces of paper, one marked bread and one marked steak. We are going to let this strapper decide which of these two we are going to use. Just need to go inside and get some red stuff. All right, I've got an oak button. Let's just slap that on top, give it a press, and both. Both. We are going to make a bread farm and a steak farm. You know what? Why not? This piece of paper decided it. So that's what we're going to do. Both. And what better a place to start than with the wheat farm? And surprise, surprise, I am going to be putting it over here next to our barn and our wheat field. Now, the wheat farm I've designed, I've actually designed to go into our, um, what's this thing called again? I can't remember. But we are going to put our wheat farm inside this. I've already came up with a design in a creative world that should fit inside this. I've gathered up all the materials here that we are going to need. So all we have to do is break in and build it up. 
as you can tell there's not a lot of room so this farm isn't going to be particularly big but it is going to fulfill the needs that I have for it. And the design that I've come up with is a fairly simple one. As you can see, it's just a little bit of farmland, some trap doors that open up and spill down into some hoppers into a chest. And it's really quite simple. I'm going to have a redstone tower that just ha activates each different layer. If we head outside, I will show you really quick that we've got a button that leads to some redstone. And if we open it up in here really quick, I'll just show you. Hit the button, all the trapdoors go down, and the water flows into the hoppers. And the signal right here also changes the redstone tower we got. So we've got about four layers, I think, that we can fit in here. And each of those is going to be pretty similar to this, where all the water just flows into a collection system. And that is the design that I've come up with. So I'm going to continue building, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, after a little bit of building, we have all four layers in. And starting from the top, I'm going to go and go over each one. And they're all fairly similar, so it should, should go by pretty quick. At the very top here, we have some wheat seeds. And you can see the redstone tower goes up. We've got a redstone line that goes across the blocks, which will power the trap doors and let the water loose. Below that, we've got some carrots. And again, same thing redstone line and we've got some potatoes and at the very bottom again we've got some wheat and it all goes down here into this chest so if we head out i've got all the little redstone components covered in some moss carpets and the button just hidden over here on the side and once all of these things all these plants and food grow up we're going to test the button out and see if they all go into the chest and if all the redstone does work. Because I'm not a very redstone competent person when it comes to this game. I do not know a lot about it, but I know enough to at least get by. At least I think I do. So we'll see if this works once it's all grown up. All right, everything should be grown up now. So let's head on down and take a quick look just to make sure and yes it does look like everything is grown with the exception of a few things but for the most part all of it does indeed seem to be grown up so let's head on down and let's give this button a push i did move it so let's give this a push let's take a look there it all is oh all right so i do need to adjust this a little bit because some of the food does seem to land right here and some of it didn't get into the hoppers. That's pretty interesting. All right, did everything come down here? Nope. No, I just picked up a carrot. And there's some wheat. Interesting. Let's grab that. Let's grab the potatoes. It looked like there was a poisonous one in there. It was. But as for what made it into the chest, it seems like everything's still coming. There wasn't too much in the chest. That's a little disappointing. Seems like too much of it made it into here. All right, so I do need to put some hoppers in right here because it seems like too much of the food. Or, or I could just put some blocks on the wall here. That should fix the problem as well. All right, but we should have enough just to start replanting everything. So I'm going to plant it all back up and call this a success because it does give us a means of, of supporting ourselves with some food. So, as you can see, I decided to just fill this wall in with blocks all the way to the bottom and all the way up. I also moved the ladder here because I realized that's what the food here was getting caught on since it was originally on these blocks here. But now, we've got all of that fixed. All of this should just drop straight down into the hoppers and go into our chest here. And this should hopefully give us a nice supply of food. So... In honor of our farm here, I'm going to eat our last piece of steak. That tasted pretty good. Now, I better get used to eating carrots. Now that we have our carrot farm and we and potato farm done, we can begin work on our cow farm, which is going to be a bit different. It's not going to be a redstone farm that, like we've got in the silo right there. It is actually going to be in a pasture right here next to our wheat field. But, you know, a stone, a stone pasture isn't going to be pretty nice. So we are going to need to collect up 
A lot of dirt. Thankfully, I should have some down here. Hi, buddy. You enjoying your steak and cake? But yes, we've got plenty of dirt here. So we don't need to worry about that too much. We do need some iron, though, for um, the design that I've come up with. So let's hop over to our iron farm really quick. Uh-oh. That's not good. How did you get out, buddy? You're supposed to be falling down into a lava trap. All right. How did you get out of this farm? Hmm? Suppose I need to take care of you. There we go. He's gone. I need my shovel out. Thank you for the iron. How? Ah. That's how we got out. Okay. So for a little bit of context, I changed the fence post back here for slabs just because a couple iron golems kept spawning in here. And I thought maybe it was on the edge of the block here. Evidently, I was wrong. And I failed to realize that they could just jump out. So that's a problem. I wonder how long that's been going on for. Um, in the meantime, I'll make these path blocks because I don't think they should be able to spawn on those. All right, let's go take a look, see how much iron we have down there. I hope those guys being out didn't ruin it too much. Please let there be enough. That's not... That's not a lot of iron. Oh boy. Um, so I need this iron to make chains. And I don't think that is going to be enough. But hopefully killing the iron golem helped fix this. So... You know, maybe I'll let this run for a little bit. Make sure none of them are spawning in the backyard of this house. Awesome! Taking care of that iron golem fixed the farm. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit now and build up the iron until we have enough for our little cow project. Alright, a little bit of time has passed and we've been able to gather up a little bit of iron. So this should be more than enough for... Oh, thank you. Appreciate you coming down. But this should be more than enough for what we have planned. I just need to make it into chains. So this should, should be plenty. If not, then I'll just come back for more. But in the meantime, we do need to gather up just a couple more things, and we should have plenty of them in our storage system. All right, so we need a few um, spruce logs, and looks like we've got plenty of those, and we need some oak fence gates. There they are. Ooh, we've only got two, and we don't have very much oak wood left. All right, um... Looks like we're going to have to take some saplings, grab some of the bone meal, and we're going to go collect some wood really quick. All right, we've gathered up our wood. All that's left to do is turn it into some trapdoors. And if I did my math correctly, and I'm fairly certain that I did, this should give us plenty, and I mean plenty, of um, oak fence trap gates. Just need to craft up a few sticks. That should be more than enough to get down what we need to. I think we just needed about two stacks, and that's what we've got. So we just need to head down and gather up the rest of our supplies, which should be, if I remember everything correctly, all be in this chest right here. So I'm going to place these in here, grab a lot of dirt, and we are going to begin covering all of this stone, at least a big majority of it, in dirt. So we're going to do that in a form of a time lapse. So let's get right into it.
And there we have it. Now, it does need a little bit more touch up, but I plan on refining some of the edges and other details in between episodes. But this is the layout we have for our cow farm. All we have to do is move the guys that are in the pen up there down to here. Now, if any of you are familiar with moving mobs in Minecraft, then you know that it is not a fun or easy process. But I'm hoping that these guys are going to be a bit easier and smarter. At least that's what I'm hoping for. All I need to do is grab some wheat. We can set them free and pray that they will follow us correctly. Just need to grab that. Head on up and let them out. Don't worry guys, you'll have a much more open feel. Cause, I mean, this is what they've been living in for a long time. So I think they will appreciate that much more. Just gotta let these guys out and see if they can all follow me. Come on guys, let's go. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'm gonna try the staircase. We're losing some. Hang on. Come back, guys. Come on. You can do it. Just follow the wheat. I gotta slow down a little bit. Um, maybe the staircase isn't the best idea considering how they're pushing each other. Let's just try taking the hill away. There we go. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Just keep it up. We're almost there. Come on. Everyone in. I said everyone. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good job. Put these chains back. And there we go. Got our cow field. Like I said, I will touch up these edges, but this is pretty much it. This is how we are gonna run our cow farm. Awesome, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I think this will look good. It'll be a nice addition to our little barn area. And you are not supposed to be in there. You're not supposed to be here, buddy. Come on, move it. Move along. There you go, good job. All right. We got these guys in. So, that is unfortunately where I'm going to have to end today's episode. I I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do. This episode, um, just because of different things, came out a bit later than what I was hoping for. But with a brand new year, who knows? My goal for this year is to try and put out more videos, so we'll see if I'm able to accomplish that. So, I guess, with all of that being said... My name is Metallica. This has been Minecraft. Thank you so much for enjoying. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And please, if you did enjoy, please like. Please hit subscribe. It really means a lot to me. So, with all that being said, goodbye.